hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. Yeah, I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? <laughs> nice, I like it. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? Ooh. It's too soon to say goodbye. She wouldn't hear me anyway. Er zijn waarschijnlijk referenties naar het stripboek die ik niet heb gelezen, dus die ik niet ken. Ik zie daar een... een... Ik zie daar zo'n kaart, die wil ik. Hij laat hem niet pakken. Here's a tip for aspiring detectives. Pretend that booze is an issue. Clients love stereotypes. The truth? I used tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked him down during the fight. Waarom kan ik hier niet bij? Ik zie hem toch. Me. A visiting friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me. Ja, fijn dat ik het alleen niet kan lezen. Love it. Oh, he's cute. Police Commissioner Sunov smoked that cigarette. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnov brought it, in exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. Lying. Waarom laten ze me nou niet bij die kaart? Nee. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hello? Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. That means I'm a detective. No way. My Uncle John is a real detective. He's way cooler than you. Wait a minute. You're, you're Uncle John. Uncle John, I guessed it. I'm a detective, too. Mom, it's Uncle John. I guessed it. 
You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. client today, but uh, business is a bit slow lately. Sorry to hear that, but we always land on our feet, don't we? <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Love you, sis. iets beters kunnen doen? I don't know. Good old Weekly did a fine job with these pictures. <laughs> I always have those in mind. that Rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Op, ik zie dat daar een kaart ligt. Wil ik? Sometimes I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. Don't trust the people. That's why you trust the cat. Oh my god, bij die kaart. Jammer. Daar ja. Move the couch. Leave without my lockpicks. Shite. Telephone. Telephone. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. Telefoon. Kom in. Hey, I'm just doing my job. Next stop, Bobby Yale's place. Ik zie hem liggen. Give me the card. Kijk, ik zie er daar ook eentje. Oh wacht. Ik kan, ik kan inzoomen toch? Kan ik, moet ik dingen verschuiven of zo? Ik zie de kaart liggen. 
Misschien... Ja! Solving my puzzles. Oké, okay, dat is een goede om uh, te onthouden. Vaak de makkelijkste dingen zijn het uh, moeilijkste te onthouden. Oké, okay, let's go. Ivan. Looking back, I wish I'd never found my lock piece. Maybe I wouldn't have gone back to the gym. All hell was about to break loose. Oh dear. Nou, dat klinkt leuk. <laughs> klinkt goed. Decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. But a good detective would have better luck. I know it might not seem like it, but... When someone hits you like that, you know you're onto something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Take a drive. When someone hits you like that, you know you are into something. It's only fair to get Well, well, well. Long time no see. Right now, man. My wife just called me. I owe you one. Now leave before my partner leaves. Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. Come on, kick it in. Now. <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm going to give it to you with this club. Deal? Fine. <laughs> Didn't we just witness your lack of aim? Wrong answer. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? The brush. A shamrock? Is he Irish? Not possible. Should start to swell any moment now. <laughs> nice. Now, where were we? What the hell are you doing here? I'm a private eye. Sonia Dunn hired me to find Bobby Yale. I hate detectives. Hey, that was the good answer. Slecht. Alrighty. Now, mag ik jou slaan? Let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss. 
just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest book Dude, in the world. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! I was wrong. Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? I swear I'm a detective. And I swear I hate detectives. Quit it. One more time. What the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert and his wife. Now he wants to insult you. All right, then. He's all yours. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Sure, whatever. Desmond, we caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert, stop hitting him, you beast. What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't look good. Hello. Okay. Praat eerst met uh, das man, das gorilla man. Thanks, pal. So, what else can you tell me about Dunn's death? Well, not much. My memory's not what it used to be. What was Joe Dunn like? Uh, he was a decent man. Have you seen all those slogans on the wall? Those motivational phrases? Joe really believed in them. All of them. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> Slecht. He played the saxophone, right? Yeah, pretty well for a white boy. But he oh. quit when his wife died. Racism. Makes no sense, right? I mean, nothing draws chicks like the brass. Why quit when you're finally free? <laughs> What can you tell me about Sonia Dunn? She's hot, ain't she? <laughs> you two seem to get along nicely. Well, I've known her since she was a baby. But she sure has grown, uh, if you get my drift. Girls. I hadn't seen her since she left for college about four years ago. It seems like her father's death didn't really upset her. Well, she likes to play it cool, which makes her really hot. Ha 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 ha.
Do you have any idea where Bobby Yale could be? Not a clue. Do you know any of his relatives? His, his father, Av, uh, Av, uh, Avenarius. Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? Yeah, and his wife, Bobby's mom, died shortly a a after. Dunn is the closest thing the family the poor kids had ever since. You said Yale joined a gang back in the day? Know which one? Come on. Hell, I don't know, John. This is New York City. They are more gangs than people. If Yale's gonna fight the reigning champion, he's got a big career ahead of him. He hasn't lost a single fight since he turned pro. The little bastard beat the socks off me a few years back. I dropped by Bobby Yale's apartment. I think he might be involved with O'Leary, the bookmaker. Uh, you sure? Yale had some dark years, no doubt, but Dunn turned him into a decent guy. I'm no detective, but I wouldn't follow that lead. Dunn wasn't black, but he allowed you and Bobby Yale to train here. Yeah. This was the first integrated gym in the city, I think. But not everyone liked that, hmm? You've seen the graffitis, right? If I get my hands on that bastard... Tuurlijk, that is the oplossing. I better let you get back to your drills. All right. I am benieuwd of a motif can be that Bobby is weggegaan om onder het gevecht uit te komen. Ik weet waar die gebleven is. Nog iets met dat boek. Dat is de trekveer van de zwerver. this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Ik ga met Sonja praten en die gorilla niet meer om mij in de hand. Aha!
Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. Taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Hey, it wasn't only Clara. Ooh. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Idiot. <laughs> uh, what the hell are you doing here? Hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> I don't like it. How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Quickly. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Wanna taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. Boo. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walrus. Who was that guy? Oh, come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent, Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black <laughs> said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. <laughs> oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. 
Tell Sonia Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Wait, wait, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonia to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. Now, try me. Okay, you win. Ik kan altijd een suggestie droppen. <laughs> oh, ik vind het een heerlijk spel. Ik geniet er echt van. Zo, so, was er really someone on the roof? Yeah, but he was faster than me. I couldn't get my hands on him. A fast spy and a slow detective. This must be my lucky day. Ooh. Uh, ik denk dat het een goede is om hier te stoppen. Ik hoop dat jullie er meer van genoten hebben en het zien we de volgende keer. Tot ziens!